And welcome to yet another episode of Play It Out. This is a lot. I wanted to be dramatic about oh. this. This is exciting. All right. When we do play it out, it's exciting because we talk about games. We, you know, what we do. That's what we do on play it out. We talk we, about games. We play the games. And we tell you about the games, and then that's why it's played out. Is it's because we play it out. <laughs> Superfuzz Game Room. <laughs> We're a little tired, guys. I'm not tired. I'm tired. I think he's just loopy. I'm just mad. Why? Because this one here, we're not going to get into it too much. Because we, we don't have a lot of time. Let's just get this done. But this one right here used one of our, a piece of our equipment for Superfuzz Productions. Used equipment for this company, for this show, for Get Real. Uh, let me tell you, all of that, she used it for her own personal use. And then, what did she do? <laughs> Forgot about it. And then washed, in, washed this piece of machinery in the washer because it was in her pocket. Through I the, washed my own headphones too, so... There is no law if the private citizen doesn't uphold it. You got that? Shit. But then she buys a new... A new version of this equipment doesn't even work. That's not my fault, though. Bullshit. It goes back to being your fault. Yeah, but the new one I bought had two in it, and neither worked. You better hope that Teep the Cat doesn't find out about this. Well, we just said it in front of her, so... Ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. So, we're going to play a game, right? We're going to play so a game. So, let's play the game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna don't get, mess up my hair, please. Gonna, Thank you. Yeah, uh, oh 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 no oh no okay oh well I'm just making all kinds of mess. Ah, uh, it's one of the magnets fell behind it. I gotta go under the thing. Ah, uh, oh, it's gonna take forever. Ow! 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 <laughs> oh, yes. There it is. I got it. Uh, Get real. It, Check it out. That's a good show. Uh, we just reviewed Bullet Train. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> okay. That was an ordeal. A little bit. Never again will I do funny gimmicks on any show ever. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. What game are we playing today? <laughs> Oh, obscene. 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 What? From what you can see. Oh. 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 Wow. Well, oh. <laughs> How dare you steal from Andy Griffith's uh, intellectual property. Uh, anyway, no. Uh, as you can see, this game is in the style of the parental advisory label. Uh, so clearly, yeah. and it's called obscene. So you could probably take a wild guess what this game is about. And I will turn it over now to insanely long and boring instruction. In, I quit. In, instruction instructor. In, some Miss Pink Green. Yak it yak yak it yak yak yak. Are you sure you're not sleepy, drunk, concussed? You broke equipment. I did. You're gonna pay for it. The washing machine technically broke it. Bullshit. But anyways, okay. So obscene. Literally under it, it says, "What is your price?" Yeah, what is your price? Uh, base, and I'll read the little brief, brief, brief back. Are you seeing I'm tired? Are you seeing I'm tired? No, I am tired. I admitted that I was tired. <laughs> Shut up! How much money would you need to eat the hottest pepper known to man or to cut off your own finger? In Obscene, you and other players try and guess what your price would be in these fictitious yet seriously obscene situations. If a player guesses right, they get money. Too obscene to list here. Buy the game to be shocked and even learn something about yourself and your friends. This is strictly for ages 21 and up and those not easily offended. So it's, it, it's, it's obscene. Surprise, motherfucker. This, mm. this game is obscene is what it is. So Miss Pingrino, uh, mm. so we're just gonna let that happen, huh? Game content rated repulsive no, by no, reason no, no, of no, crass no, no, disregard no, no. or moral ethical principles. I'm trying to read. An unmitigated disaster. 
Because it was yeah, taking, you did. Like taking you too did. long to open. Look what you did. You destroyed it. <laughs> I don't understand why it takes a box so long to open. <laughs> It's really stuck in there. Look, I want to watch The Simpsons. Hurry up. Give me the bat. Come on. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Ha ha ha. Scaredy cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Money. Money. So, there are three parts to this game. Money, wager cards, and question cards. So the whole point of it is you read the question cards of some sort of obscene situation. You then use your wager cards to place a bet on how much like you would need to be paid to do this. Uh, so the options to be paid are the basic $1,000, the next not so basic of $10,000, the $100,000, or the big whopping mammy of a million dollars. Let's go back up. The big whopping mammy? Yeah, whopping mammy. I don't know why I said it, but it did. So it's been said, and there it is. We noticed while playing this game that every card we picked uh, was required a lot of money for us to do some things. Yeah. We apparently are not that obscene. It's, it's rough. Um, so there's that. Most of our friends were the same way too. Because the things that it asks you are repulsive. They're 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 pretty bad. It's bad. The examples they give you on the box, you're like, oh shit, that's nothing. That's this baby. Like, bad. These, these examples um, were yeah. just horrible. <laughs> bad. Which made them super entertaining. It, it did make it entertaining. So um, basically, what you do is you read a question, you place your wager, and then the person who read the question, like, basically, what you have to do is you have to match the wager of what you think the person who read the question would do. That sounded confusing, so let me explain a little bit better. If Hot Toddy reads the question. Shut up! Shut up! Oh my God, I don't care! And he puts down a wager of, we'll say 10K. I have to try and think like Hot Toddy and be like, hmm, how much money does he need to do this? And that's the wager card that I play. If I get it right, we both get money. If I get it wrong, only he gets money. No, you wouldn't get money. If we get if we get it wrong, neither one of us get money. <laughs> I'm gonna start knocking stuff. No. Out. Oh so, God. Just okay. let's just play. here. The, the the point of this show is to play out the game. So here, right. here's right. what we're gonna we're gonna play it out for you. So here's one. This one's actually not that bad. Have to move back home with your parents at the age of 40. Okay, so now as that is the question, I have to choose, and, the, and if there was more parties here, they would have to choose uh, how much money it would take for them to actually do that. So Miss Pingreen will cover your eyes so you don't see. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go, um, well, I, I have to, uh -huh. so you have to, cover these up so that you can't see which one I've guessed. Mm -hmm. All right, so, okay. So, I have chosen my answer, and now, Ms. Pingrino, what do you think, how much money do you think I chose? You like parents, unlike most people, so that's, I do. that's, a, plus. that's a plus. I know bonus. you don't necessarily probably want to live with them. I do not want to move back in with them, not really. No. But, you, but you know you can. You'd put up with it, they'd put up with you. You are a sad, strange little man. Uh, sure. I, I would say probably a solid 10 grand. Ooh, so close to, I said 100000 Dang, 000. it was one of the two. $100,000, yes. It would take me $100,000 to go back and move in with them again. Maybe less if the price is right. You know, for a million or a hundred thousand, I probably wouldn't even have to move in with them at that point. <laughs> no, because you could just buy your own house. I could, I, or I could get a damn good apartment. So if you're gonna pay me the money anyway, so there's really no reason to even worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but so that's how it works. So obviously now, Miss Pingrino's turn. I will choose an obscene question and I will ask her. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, how much money, Miss Pingrino? How, how much money to ask to have sex with every person of the opposite sex that you see that day, not just strangers? So we're talking people you know. It could be friends, or worse, family. Uh, so, Miss Pingrino, I will now cover my eyes. 
Mr. Greeno, how much do you? How much money would it take for you to do something that gnarly? Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put that. I don't know if it's out there. Okay, you done? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to say it's gonna take a million dollars, a full-on million dollars for you to do that, and it's a hundred thousand. No, because let's be real, Janelle does not see that many people during the day. Who's Janelle? Miss Pinkrino does not. Oh, see you! That oh, many people throughout the day. Oh, that's true. Um, so like, and it's just of the opposite sex, so that would be like maybe two people. Ah, uh, you're right. That's, that's <laughs> so not it wouldn't bad. really be that bad because it'd be like two people. One part we forgot uh, how the uh, the fake money works. Uh, which I'm pretty sure you have to match. Let, let me recheck the rules. I'm pretty sure you have to match to get paid. Right. So you would have gotten a hundred thousand for yours. Right. Which is the. But had we matched, you would have got double that. Right. So I would have gotten two hundred thousand right. dollars out of it. But I get a hundred thousand. No, you bet. How much did you bet? You said a million. For the thing, no hundred thousand. That's right. So I would have gotten a hundred thousand. Had she guessed correctly, I would have gotten two hundred thousand, and you would have. And gotten I would have got a hundred thousand. Right, but she didn't answer correctly, so and you then just get the one. I get to get the one, and then I guessed a million. She said a hundred thousand, so she gets a hundred thousand, and I don't get jack squat for yeah. my answer. So that's how that works. You would dish out money to everybody who is correct. So what? And we continue play until all the money in the bank is gone. Let's do one more because that, that went by pretty fast. Well, then fast. it's not your turn. Ow! Bitch, are you for real? Have ticks burrow into your skin daily for a year. Cover your eyes, Miss Pongrino. I, mean, I know what this answer's gonna be. You don't even have to know. I don't really like need to cover my eyes. You I know what it's gonna be. be. Fucking rich. Okay, yeah. yeah. What's, what's your it's answer? gonna be one million. I said one yes, million. Because yes, because who wants ticks burrowing into their skin? Don't nobody want a million. Years. Don't know. Uh, nobody. Like, nobody wants a million, but nobody wants ticks. So you get two million, and so I, I get, get a million. I get two million dollars <laughs> and a million dollars. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Uh, too bad it's not real. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said that a million times when we played this. <laughs> we were hoping. Um, uh, I, mean, I think that's good enough. But so you, you see how it works and you see how it operates. You also can see by this one like how ridiculous the things are. Some of them, this kind of like the tick burrowing into your skin for a year. We got this shit basically for everyone. Like they were all this ridiculous. When we played it, every single so, one was offensive as can be. So we ran out of money super quickly. As all get out. Yeah, every single one was like, um, it's a million, it's gonna be a million dollars. Yeah, it's like, be a million dollars like I'm not gonna do this for no. anything less than a million. So I'm hoping, you know, that that's kind of my one thing with this is that there, there's gotta be- A morning after. Like some that are not so bad in here um i know that the whole game is the purpose of to be obscene but like if if that's the case they need more money because yeah. we, no, none of us are doing shit but yeah that's yeah we the game basically just had to end because we didn't have any money left over because it was just that bad so these yeah. as you get deeper in these cards you're going to be stunned at what you find <laughs> uh but and, and maybe maybe we're just not that obscene maybe we we care a little too much and, and we're... I'm not as gross as I thought I was. Yeah, I um, mean, maybe that's what that's telling us, but... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I would say it's a good thing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> thought we, know. thought maybe we were grosser people, but... I don't know. But we're not. I so, don't um, know. Overall, though, it's a really fun game. I enjoy um, it. The, the scenarios are really, really random and some of them obviously quite gross. Being 21 plus, there are some sexual ones in here as well. Obviously, we picked well, we picked one of them. We picked yeah. one, but it's not as bad as some of the other ones. Yeah, well, like, that one of the one ones great. I just put back down. That one wasn't great. It wasn't great, but this is definitely a 21 plus kind of thing. Right. Don't um, let teach the cat play. So, Miss Pingrino, would you say that this game is game on or game off? Um, I think it's a game on. Bing! I do, but I, I make one recommendation of make more money. Make more money. Make more money. Because uh, especially if you play, it's between two and six players, I get it, but like we only played with four players and I think maybe we did like four rounds. Yeah. Because we ran out of money so quickly. That's true. Which technically you wouldn't really need to play with the money. The game could be very fun. Still yeah, without you're, it, you didn't you really have this. This is sort of like an afterthought, really. This like, is basically just to tell you who wins. Yeah, but you could just do the whole basic like, oh, if you match, do you get the card or exactly something like that? Like you could play without yeah, you the could money. Do it differently. But if you're gonna do it for the whole point of purpose of money, 
I do make one suggestion and that's that we have more money. Right. I, I couldn't agree more, Mr. Pingrino. It's game on, uh, echoing everything you said. Uh, need more money, uh, but I mean, the game, uh, other than that, is... <laughs> You just miss zoomies over here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Now, now game on for sure because it, it, it's just, it's fun. And I'm always out, I'm always in for a, you know, a shock game, a shocking yeah. game where you say shocking things about stuff. So, I mean, it's just, it's so much fun to play with friends. I would, unless you were like that kind of close with your family. Don't you, play with your family. Don't play with your family. No. I will say that. Don't do not do this with, with... Maybe a sibling. Sibling, cousins. Yeah, definitely not parents. But aunts, uncles, parents, yep. gra grandparents no. for damn sure. <laughs> Unless you Grandma were... don't want to hear about your sex life, who you're going to do, do... What was that one? Asking all kinds of strangers and people <laughs> to have who sex. Who you going to do? Yeah, so it's a lot there. But yeah, definitely, uh, you know, like family that get the, you know, get the jokes and friends. But, uh, but probably friends and cousins. Or, or, or like, take take some of this advice and just play with strangers, like on the street. Or not, because we strangers can be murderers. So maybe maybe not. Or, or they could just be someone who wants to play a fun game. So. Bullshit. And there you have it. Another played out in the book. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for joining us on this uh, it's a very strange game episode, but okay. it's a fun game. So definitely go check Obscene out. Obscene, what is your price by, uh, who does it, Go? Is that mm -hmm. who it is, Go Games? So go check out. Oops. Oh, you're cleaning all that up. So go go play, not yet, let's close it out. <laughs> to be honest, I only think one fell. All so. right, well, that's fine. But anyway, go go check out that game. And also, while you're at it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Clicky the bell so you get the notifications yeah. whenever there's a new episode of any of our shows. Not just play it out, but you can, you'll can you keep up with everything we're doing. And if you go to that About section, you'll find one of the, that, that nice little tab, a little button that takes you to merchandise. Plenty of it. Plenty of it, and it's starting prices. to get cold. So. And it's start. It's can you believe it's almost, almost Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> He's been saying that since freaking February. <laughs> so why not get a head start on the holiday shopping, folks? Go get you something. <laughs> and the Smoking Hot Toddcast is in full swing, and it's back. The Smoking Hot Toddcast is back. We we it's back. We got rid of Evil Hot Toddy. He's Bye. gone. He's lost in a wormhole somewhere, and now the Smoking Hot Toddcast is back, baby. We got it back. So go check out new episodes, season nine. That is of the Smoking Hot. Oh God, Toddcast. Season nine already. Uh, we've 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 been on this show for a long time. Thirty thousand years. I just pissed in my pants. Well, that's it for us this time. We'll see you next time on uh, Played Out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I guess I'll go turn off the camera now. <laughs> <laughs>